We are learning more about the tragedy that took the lives of a pregnant woman and two young girls after a fire at a home in Lebanon Junction. The Bullitt County Sheriff's Office released the results of their investigation today. Reporter Kennedy Hayes has the update. Arson investigators shining light on what happened inside this home on January 19th, the day tragedy spread through Lebanon Junction. Now all you see is soot and it's the fire, the smoke's still coming out of it. The fire smoke took the lives of three people, Aaron Toogood, age 27, and her unborn child, Holton, Hazley Heath, age six, and Reagan Merriman, also six years old. I'm just still waiting for somebody to tell me it was a mistake and that it's not Reagan. Bullitt County officials talked to the man who survived, William Merriman. In a report, Merriman says that morning he, quote, woke up and thought somebody was walking through the house, then realized the house was full of smoke and started yelling fire. Unable to reach those trapped inside, Merriman went out the front door to find a neighbor. Together, they were not able to re-enter the home due to the heat and smoke. Just after 3.30, firefighters arrived to find flames coming from two areas of the home. Investigators say the fire started in the utility room, then spread to the kitchen. Due to the extent of damage, what caused the fire is undetermined. Officials say the home did not have any working smoke detectors. If they could just at least touch one family, one home, one business, you can prevent this from happening again. In the victim's honor, the family tells us they're pushing a new fire ordinance for all of Bullitt County, requiring smoke detectors. Any time a property is bought, sold, leased, rented, there has to be working smoke detectors. The ordinance, named the Aaron, Hazley, Reagan, and Holton Act, aims to make sure a tragedy like this never happens again. Today, that ordinance was presented to the Bullitt County Fiscal Court for the second time. It also fines up to $100 if smoke detectors are not present. It's expected to pass during a second reading on March 21st.